It's a hard job and you have to really enjoy riding a bike. We are delivering a parcel. I'm not going to say what it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's just going over to Columbia Heights. This feels pretty treacherous. Cruising down 14th Street. Oh! Hey! Be careful of this way. All right, how much more? Because I'm dying. Columbia. <coughs> <coughs> in Northwest DC today, just off of 9th Street, because you know we love highlighting local businesses doing awesome things in the community, taking away from sort of the corporatization of everything going on. Chris Rabati is here with us from Bring It DC. They're a bike courier company. So you're the founder. You've got an interesting nickname. I am the Package Jesus. Where does that come from? Uh, I just try to make stuff happen. Turn, I turn water into wine, I guess, I don't know. Okay, so we definitely need to hang out with this guy more. Talk to us about Bring It DC. What, oh, yeah, what, 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 sets, what sets you, you got fans, man, on the street. What sets you apart from just any sort of corporate, you know, bike messages? Uh, we put a lot of power into the couriers. You know, you know, they get paid out higher than the people in the admin. Well, I want to hear a ton more about it. Yeah. Can we, can we go for a ride? Let's go. Chat it up. So, Chris, how long have you been doing the bike messenger game. Uh, I started delivering salads when I was like 18 or 19. Uh huh. How old are you now? 34. Okay. So this is a uh, lifelong passion. Yeah, on and off, riding around, and then I was messing around with racing bikes for a while. That was fun. Talk to me about Bring It DC, this company you founded. How long has it been in operation? We've been doing it since the beginning of the pandemic. I kind of had a couple clients that I was just helping out here and there for their small stores. Uh, and then my brother, Jacob, was just, he's always pushing me. So he's like, yo, you have to, you got to take this a little more seriously. So here we are two years later. How's business? Uh, it's awesome. You know, I just wake up at 8 o'clock every day, sling bagels, pizza at lunch, get a few parcel runs off the internet. Pretty much everything about our service is custom tailored to anyone that wants to use it, from the rate to how the work gets done. Like, if you pay me to put on a penguin suit and show up with a pie, like, I don't know. If you really want me to do it, I'll do it. You heard it. There is no offer this man will refuse. Thousand dollars. <laughs> penguin suit, and he will deliver you a pizza. <laughs> We're hauling some like crazy stuff. Like I've moved mattresses, all sorts of stuff. On this bike, you've moved a mattress? Yeah. What does that look like? It's, well, it's kind of, you can just fold it in half. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just dropping this off. What do you got next? I gotta go to Noma. There's a beer run. A lot of people are like, why don't you ever do all these, why don't you do those deliveries on, in a car? Um, and I just, I just love biking and I feel like, you know, I just want to promote it as a tool. Plus you'd spend half your life looking for parking. Yeah, you know. Half on Mass Avenue. All right, now first of all, he could open up a whole side business because if he could teach people how to move mattresses, if mm -hmm. I could move a mattress, I probably would have never bought one in my lifetime. It'd be bad news for a lot of companies People can't out even there. move them properly with cars. I can't even move them from <laughs> one room to the other room. That's how bad it is. Now, you know, most of our conversations involve me gauging myself against you physically okay. and how yep, inadequate yep. I feel. So Indeed. my question for Chris, how much does he bike on a typical day? Like, how far? So, in, in that story, he said to that point in the day, which is about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, he had done 35 miles. Wow. That point in the day. He said his record is about 80, 85 miles. It's just like nothing to him. I mean, the guy bikes every day, so he's in prime physical condition, right? Yeah. He's had to have to take in a lot of calories throughout the day to be able to keep up his stamina. But, man, he is out there, and he is doing it. Now, how much volume are they able to yeah. do? I mean, I know he, he's got his whole crew of messengers and whatnot. So. Right, great question. And, and in terms of volume, I could just tell you how, how many employees they have. So on any given day, they've got between 7 to 10 employees. They know every nook and cranny mm -hmm. of the city, every pothole, every everything. I mean, he said it was like his own personal cycle cross course. Get this, in October, Chris is actually going up to New York City for the Messenger World Champion. It's uh. the event for bike couriers where they go head to head, they get like a fake itinerary, they close the streets of, of uh, New York where they are, and they literally go around from place to place and whoever do it 
the fastest wins. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Now, if only they have a mattress they can fold in half, then we know Chris would definitely win that. Right. Yeah. Or he would just pull over and take a nap, which that is, is what, what I would do. Do you think you could do that? How, how long would Adam Longo last as a bike messenger? I couldn't last basically through the story. Once we went up a hill and with my bike, I was like, dude, I, I, I don't know, because I'd already swam uh -huh. and ran that day. So that was completing the trifecta of a triathlon during that day that we went on the shoot. So I was like, I I'm done. I can't do this. Plus, if you had to add weight to the bike, yeah. I was hauling around. No, I don't think so. Every delivery is just at the bottom of the hill. Right. <laughs> Every delivery. Hey, man, I'm a couple blocks away. Just, okay, cool. Just come right up. No, why don't you come right down? Yeah, but, but, but listen, anybody who thinks that they might need this service, prescription drugs, you need beer, you need dinner, you need anything, you contact Chris, him and his people. Obviously, you saw it. They move mattresses. They'll move anything for you. That is awesome. Yeah. I love that. Best of luck to him. I can't wait to see what that competition looks like. Listen, send me your story ideas. Alongo at WSA9.com. Find me on Facebook and Twitter at Adam Longo TV.